by the bell. Again. I'm like the Incredible Hulk, except my powers only work when I'm scared silly. That's the second time I've opened a shift by instinct alone when I've been in mortal danger. The frustrating thing is, I still don't know how to do it when I'm not scared. Wait, didn't the old lady say I should use what I do best to focus my talents? Is running away really what I do best? Come to think of it, why did the shift dump me here? I wasn't even thinking about the studio. The old woman, Lady Alvane, was it? She said something about using my craft to focus my powers, to learn how to open a shift at will. I guess it's worth a try. I did it! On my own, I did it! April. Oh, Mother. What's wrong with you? Touch me. April. Hmm. What's happening to you, Mother? I am dying, April. But you can't die. You're the... The Mother, the White Dragon. You're eternal. Aren't you? The Mother is, April. But I am not. It is time for the new to replace the old. For the seed to grow into a flower, and for the withered and the grey to turn to dust and pass on into the ages. Help me understand, please. Take my blue eye, the crystal. You need it. But I can't. Take it, quickly. Thank you. <sighs> Please don't go. I am tired. The war with chaos has taken its toll on me. I wish I could have seen my children grow up. When will the egg hatch? When I die and turn to dust. Be here, then, to witness the new mother. I promise. Be who you are, April. Do not be afraid of that. Who am I? My daughter. My own daughter. who you are. Sister? Sister? I... I can do it now. I can shift. It's not easy, but I can do it. Ironic as it may be, though, I think I've done all I can do in Arcadia. I have the two Arcadian dragon's eye jewels, the disc, and the star map. Now I need to find the Guardian, the two missing jewels, and somebody who can help me decipher the star map. And I have to look for those things here, in Stark.
go back to Venice. The Vanguard agents are looking for me, and that's the first place they'd expect me to go. It's the fake ID girl. Hold on. You got it? Where you been, man? I've been holding on to this for a week now. Yeah, a week. What's the trouble? I paid up front. What's the trouble? What's the fucking trouble? The trouble is, baby, this thing's hot. It sizzles, man. They catch it with the shit on my hands, they give me 20 at least. Like you wouldn't get twice that for any of the stuff you have in here. Yeah, but that's mine, man. Mine. My problem. This here is yours. Shit, take it. I don't want it anymore. What up? That's all. It's obviously a map of constellations, and that cross must be where the gateway to the Guardian's realm is located. Where that is, I have no idea. Any chance of you deciphering this for me? Hmm. Looks old. This old? It looks old. It's gotta be old. What do you do, rip off a museum or something? Because I'm cool with that. It was a gift. Would you be able to calculate the coordinates of that... cross based on the positions of the stars? Shouldn't be a problem, as long as this thing's accurate. I'll just do some chem trace tests. See when it was made, and then figure out the rotation of the constellations and calculate the... Yeah, sure. And what's it gonna cost me? This time? I still got credit from the AG unit you gave me. Works like a fucking charm, I'll tell you, baby. It's hot. I can float like the wind. Duts. Mmm. Even with two people on at the same time. Oh, yeah. I, I don't want to know that. So, when can I get the results? Can't do the chem tests here, but I'll call a friend of mine. Owes me a favor. Come back later. Yeah, yeah, later. Much later. Sure. And hey, don't wait a week this time. Got it. My own mid and upper level ID card. A girl's best friend. I never imagined I'd one day be carrying one of these babies. Not unless I married a lawyer, a doctor, or a screen repairman.
It's a bingo instant pizza machine. I never liked those things. They taste like artificially flavored cardboard boiled in grease. I am sorry, but this bingo instant pizza maker has been shut down by order of the Newport Department of Biological Warfare. About time, too. If you or anyone in your immediate family has enjoyed a delicious bingo instant pizza recently, please report to an area hospital as soon as possible. Have a nice day. There's an empty pizza box in there. It's a pizza box. It's a garbage bin. I can't believe they wouldn't let me on the shuttle just because my clothes stink and I look like a bum. I mean, considering what I've been through in this outfit, I'm surprised I look as presentable as I do. They got the coolest clothes in that store. The coolest and most expensive. I saved for months to buy a pair of socks there once. The coolest pair of socks I ever had. Cool and expensive. I could definitely do with a change of clothes. And so what if this store's way out of my league? After what I've been through, I deserve to splurge a little. I look good, I feel good. Thank God they had a thermal shower in there. I needed a proper disinfection and delousing. I can literally feel the price of this outfit. Nice. direct me to the MTI building? Certainly. See that huge, massive, towering building over there? That's it. Yes, ma'am. Okay, thanks. You're welcome, ma'am. Wow, it's a faux Roman palace. How very Las Vegas. <laughs> Stunning, in a creepy neo-fascist way. Hush. That's the only elevator in the building? I wonder what they do during rush hours. Ahem. <clears throat> and what, pray tell, do you think you're doing, miss? Me? Uh... Rodent inspection. I see. Very original. There have never been any rodents on Grendel Avenue, miss. Well, until now. No problem, because rats are my specialty. Very droll. This is a private building, miss, and I suggest that you leave. Now. I'm visiting a friend of mine. Oh, really? Then your name would be in my appointment diary, yes? Uh, I don't know. I don't really have an appointment. You don't say. And do you really have a friend in the building? No. Then I suggest you turn around and walk out of here, miss. This is a private building. How do I call the elevator? 
You do not, miss. I call it. All right, thanks. No, you misunderstand. I call it. For people who work in the building, or for those with appointments with the people who work in the building. You are... How shall I put this? Street vermin. A hooligan. Scum. You were homesick the day they taught diplomacy, weren't you, Jerry? Gerald, please leave the building. What floor is Jacob McAllen on? We do not have a Jacob McAllen working here, miss. Do you have any McAllens at all? I'm not picky. I am not about to divulge any private information to a person such as yourself. Good for you, Jerry. Gerald! It would be so nice if you left now, miss. Can I bribe you? I'm sorry. What? Pay you to let me slip by you unnoticed into the elevator? For goodness sake, miss, absolutely not. I am not your common low life. I'm sure even a stand-up guy like you, Jerry, needs some pocket change now and then. Gerald! And no, I do not. Now I would like you to leave. Immediately. Thank you very much, Jerry. <sighs> Gerald! And if you do not leave, miss, I will be forced to call the police. Scary. I believe that circle with a big X through it is supposed to represent the destruction of the balance. These guys don't get around. The desk serves two purposes. To scare the hell out of innocent visitors, and to instill whomever stands behind it with a sick sense of superiority. Gerald Rosenberg. That's Jerry, the ever-helpful receptionist. Hi again, uh, Jerry. Gerald, and did I not tell you to leave? Thanks, Jerry. There's one piece of moldy pizza left inside this pizza box, and it seems to have chemically merged with the cardboard, so I'd better, um, keep it closed. Ugh, no! Got a pizza delivery for Mr. McAllen. Really? There's been no... Wait a second. Weren't you in here before? Me? Nah. Uh, been, been delivering pies to the, uh, to Venice. I, I ain't been up here before. Nice hood, clean pavements, good air. I could have sworn. Oh, very well. Give me the pizza and I will see to it that it's delivered to Mr. McAllen as soon as possible. No can do, guy. This has got to be delivered now, before it gets cold. You know how Mr. McAllen gets when his mozzarella is cold. <sighs> I can't very well leave my post, so... All right, all right. Step into the elevator and I will send you to Mr. McAllen's office. But I want you back down here pronto, do you understand? I made it this far, and I'm not about to turn around now. There's another elevator here, and apparently, it only goes up. I don't know what they're growing in these tanks, but whatever it is, it's disgusting and alive. What is that? It looks... 
God, it looks human. I guess the Vanguard are growing these creatures for a purpose. Maybe soldiers? That's one war I'll do my best to prevent. They're humanoid. That's an amazing view. I can see clear across the city. There are documents scattered all over the desk. Papers. There's nothing here that... That's my... That's my name! And my address! Obviously there's... God, they've been tracking me, watching me! Uh-oh! Last person I'd expect to find here, Shifter. I have spent an obscene amount of money and resources tracking you down. Since before we knew your name, before you even came to Newport. And then you simply walk into my lap like a mouse into a great big trap, looking for the cheese. I'd imagine. The Guardian. Well, he's not here, I'm sorry to say. He's being held elsewhere, awaiting your directions. You do have them, yes. The directions to the Guardian's realm. Sorry, but I never managed to find the entrance to the Guardian's realm. Hmm. Pity, really. And I thought you'd done so well on your journey across Arcadia. I know where the entrance is, but I'm not telling you anything. You're not? Hmm. That's... unfortunate. I thought you were such a bright young girl, especially considering your heritage. But apparently I was wrong. At least you have the disc and the two jewels I'm missing in your possession. So good of you to bring them here. I thought I might have to go pick them up myself. I have friends. Oh, you do. You do. The very best friends, too. Don't make me laugh, girl. Did you really expect your good buddy Cortez to tell you the truth? Or to come to your rescue like a knight in shining armor? He's been using you. Tobias, Cortez, the bloody kin, all your Friends, they've been using you for their own selfish reasons. They're no different from me, Shifter. No different at all. How have they been using me? The Sentinel. They say one thing, I say another. It's all subjective, isn't it? Does the fact that I want to reunite the worlds and allow mankind its true destiny sound like an evil deed? No, but the way you go about it... The way I go about it? What about the damned Sentinel? They've kept the truth from most people for millennia. They've buried the past and indoctrinated Arcadians into their own outdated faith. The difference is that they care about people. Care? Care about what? I care about people. I have no intention of destroying mankind or enslaving it. I just want to 
open the borders to allow mankind to fulfill its true destiny. The Sentinel, they are the ones who wish to keep the truth secret, to keep the past locked in their sacred scriptures and behind their well-guarded doors. They've helped me, you haven't. Haven't I? I could have caught you earlier, Shifter. I had my eyes and ears in Arcadia, and you have made quite a spectacle of yourself from time to time. But I let you go about your business, and now you return to me with precious gifts. So don't tell me I haven't helped you, just as you're helping me now. Oh. You have been kept from the truth just as much as everyone, Shifter. You are just a piece in a grand game of chess. You're not even a big piece. You're a pawn. Now give me the disc and the jewels, the dragon eyes. And then we can wrap this game up. I'm quite certain you know more than you let on about the Guardian's realm as well. I'll have that information too, very soon. I'm not giving you anything. I have an army of devoted soldiers in this building, Shifter. I run this city. What are you going to do? Round up a mob of your... Friends? Forget about shifting as well. There are magical barriers against that in this building. All right, I give up. Here's the disc and the jewels. You see? I wasn't lying to you, unlike some of your... Accomplices, you don't have a choice. You must give me what you have. Fine. Who the hell cares anyway? I'm exhausted and I'm... I give up. Cortez has abandoned me. I've hurt my two best friends in the world and... Maybe you're right. Maybe you're no different from the Sentinel. Maybe they're as bad as you and maybe you deserve each other. It doesn't matter, you've won. What are you going to do now? Let me guess. This is where the heroine coaxes a confession from the villain before the final act of the play commences. Very well. I'm all for a satisfying denouement. What now? I have the Guardian, I have the disc, and the jewels, the key to the tower. And soon, if you play along like a nice little girl, I'll know where the gateway is. So you don't need me anymore? Apparently not. I thought I might, so I decided not to kill you. But now that I have the Guardian himself, your role in this game is... up. After you tell me what I need to know, of course. Then what will happen to me? Nothing. I'll let you go. You can do me no harm, and I'm not a cruel man. Not unusually so, at any rate. How did you get the other two jewels? I've had one of them for ages. The other came into my possession only a week ago, as luck would have it. And now I have the last two, and the disc. Why didn't you go look for the jewels and the pieces of the disc yourself? <sighs> I would have. But my power over Arcadia has been... disturbingly limited until now. The Tyran have proved a valuable addition to my disciples, and with their help, I've dispensed with most of my opposition in Arcadia. But still, 
locating the stones would have required the cooperation of the Sentinel. Now, I may be a charismatic man, but I doubt they would have told me anything. And those wretched magical races, you think they would have cooperated? No. They were waiting for their savior, their prophecy come true. And you seem to fit the bill. Why not take advantage of that? As for the jewels, the white and the blue of the dry kin were not likely to submit to me. And that was a battle even I'd be well advised to avoid. What happened to Cortez? Cortez... I had Gordon take care of him. He was just interfering too much for his own sake. There are rules, and he broke them. He brought you into... He broke the rules. What will you do once you open the gateway to the Guardian's realm? Gordon Alloway will take the Guardian's place in the tower, and he will rule according to my plan. The worlds will be reunited, and the Earth will be one realm, as it was, and as it should be. So, this is all part of your master plan to rule the Earth? When you put it like that, I guess... yes. But I'll be a fair and just ruler, my dear. What's the point? You're like, what, 60? In another 60 years, you'll be dead, and then what? Leave the kingdom to your firstborn? <laughs> I'll be around a lot longer than 60 years. A lot longer. You really don't know me, do you? You really don't know anything about me. Apparently not. But time is ticking, Shifter, and the wheel of the balance is turning. Please, enter the elevator to your right. I want to show you something. What do you think? What is it? This is the end result of the centuries of work and research the Vanguard have done. A breeding ground for shifters such as yourself. Warrior shifters. So tell me, what do you think? Does it matter what I think? No. I'm just trying to be polite. I'm impressed. So you should be. There's technology here that could... Well, it has changed the world in ways you could never understand. You are one sick man. Because I create my own destiny instead of sitting around waiting for it? Because I look to the future? What's so sick about that? Because you think you have the right to do this. But you don't consider the harm you do to the balance and to the people both here and in Arcadia. They really have gotten to you, haven't they? Too bad. You might have made a fine addition to our organization. Now, give me the disc and the jewels. And don't try anything this time. I might have to hurt you myself.
I will ask this one last time, because I am a patient man. Where is the gateway to the Guardian's realm? And I'll say this one final time, because I'm a patient woman. Go screw yourself. That's all I needed to know. I'll leave you alone here for a while. When I come back, I'm sure you'll be a lot more cooperative. It's in Reading, England. I'm sorry, what? Right by the train station, there's a quaint little coffee shop. In the ladies' room of that coffee shop, you'll find the gateway you're looking for. I see. Humor. What an unfortunate way to end this seance, I have to say. Very well. <clears throat> I'm leaving now, and when I come back, I'm certain you'll be a lot more cooperative. It's a monster! The elevator's locked! Elevator locked. Hover pad exit closed. Hover pad exit. wasn't such a good idea. Hey, uh, you want to try discussing things over a hot cup of mocha instead of all this killing April business? I guess not. Well, hell! Some rough company, senorita. Better be more careful in the future, no? Where have you been? What? Were you worried? Yes, no, I mean, I was scared you were, you know, dead. So you care about me? Ave Maria Purissima. What am I going to do now without you telling me to get lost? joke about this, Cortez. I've been a lot of situations these past few days where I could have needed your help, but you weren't there. Perdóname. Forgive me, senorita. I've been indisposed. When I finally managed to escape my prison last night, I began looking for you. You left an interesting trail, I must say. What do you mean? For one, the border house. Most of Venice, for that matter, was under guard. There seemed to be some question as to how you managed to escape the Vanguard agents. Magic. So I thought. You've been picking up a few pointers in Arcadia. I'm turning into quite the Girl Scout. It's amazing how resourceful you can be when you're in a bind. I see. I've noticed. How did the Vanguard capture you? With a small army. And with the help of a very dangerous man, Gordon Holloway. I met him, not the most personable guy in the world, and he could really do with some sun. Gordon is a... a creature of pure logic. He was split in two halves when he was a child, one bound to Stark, the other to Arcadia. The victim of terrible vanguard experiments, I'm afraid. The Chaos Vortex, right? That's him. He's magical and chaotic, half untethered. What some people would call his soul. Gordon would have been Guardian had the Vanguard not destroyed him. I 
heard the story. Can he still be Guardian? The Vanguard believes so. But if he did become Guardian, he would twist and corrupt the balance to his own benefit. What the consequences would be, I fear to even think. Have you told me everything I should know, Cortez? About? About this. About everything that's happened to me in the past, say, week. I've told you all I can tell you. Yeah, sure. You know, I overheard a conversation between you and your friend, Father Raoul, and then McAllen. Jacob McAllen? He's here? He was. He released that mutant freak on me, so that I'd tell him where the gateway to the Guardian's realm is. Adios mio. We must get you away from here. He's a very dangerous... It isn't a family reunion. I could smell your hand in this, brother. The Vanguard. Was this the extent of your originality? If you had to meddle in the affairs of mortals, would it not have been prudent to show a little subtlety? He seized the dragon and bound him for a thousand years. Free at last, brother? Taisaiotyrus. I didn't picture you walking amongst men in a man's body with a man's name, McAllen. The balance must not have dealt you and yours with the best of hands. The balance will cease to be, brother. The scales will topple and the old walls will fall. The age of dragons is imminent, whether you join us or not. Join you? You symbolize all that I despise. You hate and fear these mortals so much, you bring on chaos to destroy them, but you will only succeed in destroying yourself. Our time will come eventually, but not by your doing. Are these worlds of mortals so important to you that you forget who you are? I never forgot who I am. That crime is yours alone, brother. What's this? There is still time. You are blood of my blood, kin to my kin. You are immortal dragon, and our destinies weigh the scales of the universe. Where do you get all those cliches, kin to my kin? Doesn't it ever bother you that you sound like a badly written play? Oh well, I will not miss your sarcasm, brother. It's always felt a little... stopped. Oh God, his heart. That's what Brian said. Cortez called it his heart. His heart has stopped. Cortez is dead. I can't believe that. It doesn't make sense because, because... <sighs> He's gone. They all die. God damn. I can't. Everybody I love dies. Everybody I... From McAllen's little demonstration, I'd say that was some kind of fancy safe or containment chamber. 
It's a fancy safe or containment chamber. Unlock containment chamber? I think yes. Containment chamber open. And what, pray tell, took you so long? Excuse me. I'm talking to you. Stop. Screw you, Jerry. Oh my god, what happened to you? <coughs> they shot me. They took the fucking map. Who? I'm, I'm sorry. I, sorry, I didn't mean to, but they... They promised me I'd walk again. Who did? Halloway, the vanguard. I, I had a deal with them, then... Uh, when, when you come back, I sent word they... Uh, they wanted the map, information on it. They wanted you. You sold me out to the Vanguard? Oh, I'm so sorry. They threatened me with they. They said you can walk again or you can fucking die. Your choice. My choice. I understand. Just take it easy. Don't move too much. I'm gonna call the cops and then. No! <coughs> no, don't. I'm dying. I, they would. Just put me in jail. Listen to me. April, the map, it, I deciphered it. They took they took it with them, everything, but I, I made a copy. <coughs> Over there on the screen. What am I looking at? <coughs> I, I played with the map you gave me, and though there was information missing, I... <coughs> Why don't you just take it easy for a while? Don't say anything. Gotta... They took it. See the flashing cross? That, <clears throat> that's the destination on the map. Some kind of anomaly, I guess. <coughs> Nothing about it in, in any data bank, but... Right next to it, there's a spaceport. The Morning Star. <coughs> Transfer terminal to the colonies, luxury hotels, casinos. <laughs> if you need to, to get to the position on the map, that that's the way to do it. Go to the Morning Star. Halloway was bringing bringing something with him up up there to the station. Uh, I heard them talking about it. it. Sounded important. The Guardian? It's got to be the Guardian. These guys are bad. The worst. You got to be careful. I'm fucking telling you. I'm the only chance we got. I know! Get him! 
Get up there to the Morning Star. Go to the Morning Star. Do what you have to do now. I will. <coughs> I'm sorry. You okay, Flipper? Flipper! Damn. Thanks, Flipper. Rapture Revisited. They're relaunching the original Amethyn drug. Oh, sorry. Stimulant. Twice as effective at half the cost. Time to usher in a whole new generation of drug addicts. Rapture Revisited. Part of the Rapture Experience Enhancer series from Sweet Dreams Pharmaceuticals. Today's arrivals. Shuttles are inbound from most of the orbiting stations, but traffic from the Morning Star dominates. Inbound shuttles are only arriving every three or four hours. In other words, a lot more people are leaving than are coming back. It's a list of today's departures to the orbiting stations. Most of these are bound for the Morning Star, an MTI-owned station in geostationary orbit above the city. It's a list of today's departures. There's a shuttle leaving approximately every 40 minutes. Those documents are just for show, to create a faux retro atmosphere and put the customer at ease. I mean, if they got paper around, they've got to be good people, right? Fake documents for show. She's one of those chirpily soulless plastic face sales reps specifically bred for one single-minded purpose. To make you sign a colonization contract. Good morning, ma'am. How are you today? What do you care? Uh, well, ma'am, we care about each and every one of our customers. That's our promise to you. I'm not a customer. I haven't bought diddly squat. Oh, no. How may I help you today, ma'am? How does it feel working for the dark side? Pardon me, ma'am? I mean... It's slavery, isn't it? Certainly not. That's a popular misconception. In fact, our colonists are given the best of care, a job suited to their talents, and a full salary. You tell yourself that if that makes it easier to sleep at night. I'd like to register as a colonist. Very good, ma'am. You won't regret this decision, I can assure you of that. I'm sure I will. In fact, I already do. Uh, yes, well, we'll do our best to find the perfect colony for your tenure after you fill out a simple multiple-choice form and... Why not just call it slavery? I mean, that's what it is, isn't it? Oh, no, ma'am, certainly not. Our colonists are given the best of care and a full salary to go with their assigned tenure. Whatever, I just need to get on a ship that'll take me through to the Morning Star Transfer Station. 
We do have a ship leaving this evening with colonists bound for Bukamba 8, and that does stop at the Morning Star. But I'd suggest you go through our pamphlets. Sign me up for... what was it? Bukamba 8? That's where I want to go. Uh, all right, ma'am. If you would just hand me your Newport ID card and place your right thumb on that black square, we can get you registered. There. That's it, ma'am. You're registered. Now, if you just take your baggage... No baggage. Nothing, ma'am? Well, you will receive everything you need when you get to the colonies, so no problem. Just head up to gate number one and wait in our lounge. And I have to remind you that if you choose not to board your ship this evening, you will have committed a corporate offense and you will be subject to imprisonment. And a nice day to you, too.